So the question is, should we do metta meditation at the end of the meditation or at other times? This is the statement to bear in mind. If this one is hard to remember, there was another one much nicer put, I actually saw in Mother Teresa's monastery. I actually met Mother Teresa, she put her hand on my head. <laughs> I was hoping for some kind of zap or God experience or something and actually it was a guy that I was with in Ewa and he grabbed her hand and stuck her hand on my head and then she grabbed a handful of little amulets and gave them to me and dashed off. But well, that was nice, you know. And on, in her temple was written a poem, I don't know where the poem comes from, I think he's quite old and famous, sow a thought, reap a habit, sow a habit, reap a character, sow a character, reap a destiny. So that's the kind of thing. So metta meditation, when should you do it? Well, it's just to keep it close. We usually do it at the end of a meditation and one reason for that is if the meditation has helped to make you purify you a little bit, calm you down a little bit, make your intentions more clear to yourself because normally you just react and do stuff. But with meditation your intention is getting very clear. So at the end of meditation it's very good to do for that reason. But if you want to do the whole meditation metta then do so.